Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, Pisces, this is what's happening, okay? This is what's happening. So this whole reading is about an offer that's coming to you. It's an offer of one of two things. It's either an offer of a love relationship or it's the offer of a work relationship. And it could go either way. So if you're looking for love, this reading is about an offer that is being made to you and how you should navigate it when it comes. If this is about work, about success of some sort, there is an offer coming to you and this reading is about how to navigate it, okay? So the King of Wands is the first card out, okay? First card out. This is uh, someone who is enthusiastic, excited, has their eyes on the prize. It's a card about the pursuit of achievement and success. Eyes on the prize, okay? Emperor comes on top of it and says that this person has some kind of, some kind of power, okay? This person has power. If it's a love relationship, this this person has power because we have all four kings in relatively close quarters to each other. We have the King of Wands, we have the King of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups down here, okay? And they're all grouped in this little thing, this little area right here, okay? So this person is a badass who's ever coming at you. They are an absolute badass because you are the empress down here at the bottom. Okay, it's a match made in heaven, Pisces. It truly is. Whether it's business and work or whether it is love and romance, this is a an absolute match made in heaven, Pisces. Okay, Page of Cups, there's an offer coming to you of some kind of emotional engagement, okay, to the chariot. And the chariot says, put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to get done what it is that you need to get done about yourself so you can be in a position to engage with this whole thing, okay? All right. Justice. It's in your best interest. It is. It is justice for your life. It is in your best interest. And it's in your best interest, King, it's in your best interest, King of Swords, for you to grab a hold of your mind and see this opportunity as divinely orchestrated to get over this next little pile of cards here and engage with this full throttle, wholeheartedly engage with it, the star, because it is part of your path and part of your purpose. This is a renewal of your life, whether it's love or money, it is a renewal of your life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. King of Swords, but you got to get, you got to get your mind in the game, okay? You're going to have to make some serious drop dead decisions about yourself, your life, and your future in regards to this opportunity that is going that is going to manifest in your life mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see clearly with the ace of swords aha moment in your mind clear your mind and see clearly how significant this opportunity is three of cups um, so you can engage you are going to meet someone somewhere, whether it's a business opportunity or a love opportunity. Someone is coming directly at you, Pisces, because down here we find out that you've put in some hard work, okay? You need to pull it together and see clearly that this is divinely orchestrated into your life and act accordingly. What's the problem? Well, the Nine of Pentacles, Pisces Independence. Okay, whether it's work or love, Pisces is, is, is <laughs> independence is going to stand in the way of this. Pisces is afraid of this opportunity, which we will see here in just a second. Okay, to the seven of wands in reverse, overwhelmed. 
all right, Pisces is overwhelmed by this opportunity, the Ace of Wands to the King of Pentacles. Um, this is an inspired opportunity. This opportunity has the power to create a potential beginning of something amazing in your life. King of Pentacles, this is who's coming at you, or this is the position that you will take if this is a business offer, okay? King of Pentacles is someone who is calm, cool, collected, extremely serious, extremely successful, long-term, steady, stable, committed kind of person. This is what this opportunity is going to bring to you if this is business. This is the position that you will sit in in your life if this is business. If this is love, this is the kind of person that's coming at you. Okay, doesn't have to be a guy. It can be a woman in her masculine energy. And if that's the case, if you're a dude Pisces and there is a, a, a woman coming at you, she is going to be extremely strong and extremely independent um, because, as we'll see in a second, she's been screwed over somehow, some way. And you are going to have to assume the masculine role. You are going to have to find your masculine energy in order to be able to convince this person that you can lead the way. This person doesn't want you to lead the way, but this person also doesn't want baggage or dead weight. Okay, and for those of you who are not, who, 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 who don't identify as male or female, you still have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, if you're non-binary or trans or whatever it is that you are, it's the human nature and you can't, you can't, you can't discount that. Human nature is masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so same goes for you, regardless of what you, you identify with. Okay, all right. So there's someone coming at you that's either going to put you in this position or be this position in your life. Okay, meetings, getting clear in your mind. What's the problem here? Well, the high priestess in reverse. Um, the high priestess in reverse to the seven of swords to the queen of wands in reverse, okay? This is a problem. Look, to the four of swords in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse down here. Not only that, but the five of wands in reverse as well. What's the problem? There's always a freaking problem, right? What's the problem is that Pisces is unhealed, okay? Either this particular Pisces that I'm talking to has been screwed over Seven of Swords in the past, okay? And the Queen of Wands in reverse, they don't feel confident to engage in this situation, okay? They just don't feel confident to engage in this situation. They're um, still wounded from some kind of fuckery with the Seven of Swords that has happened in their life. If this is about financial issues, this or the, if this is about if this is about success issues, if this is about business, okay, you don't feel capable of accepting this offer or engaging in this offer. Either way, whether it's love or money, this particular Pisces does not feel equipped to engage in the situation, okay? mentally restless about a lack of success with the Four of Swords in reverse, right? This means Pisces has not come to terms with the Three of Swords that was generated by the Seven of Swords. Three of Swords is grief and sorrow and pain that you carry in your mind. Four of Swords is about hanging it up, picking up the Fourth Sword, bringing stability to your mindset so you can carry on. In the reverse, it's someone who has not done that yet. And whatever this Three of Swords in the Four of Swords is, is this Seven of Swords right here. And it is the reason that Pisces doesn't feel confident to engage in this situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. These two cards say that you are fully capable of engaging in this situation. You just have to let your guard down, Pisces. Yep, that Nine of Pentacles back there, independent, self-sufficient. You have to let your guard down in order to engage with this situation. Work or money, you have to let your guard down. Seven of Wands in reverse, because you're going to be finding yourself all overwhelmed about this situation. What's the situation? Well, the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. There is an offer that is going to be made to you by someone who has their shit together, big time together. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands, and the Emperor all touching each other right here, okay? This person has their shit together, and perhaps that's why Pisces is intimidated. Maybe this person shows up and Pisces is like, holy cow, wow, I am so small compared to this person. I just don't think that I can that I can participate fully in this whole thing. And the, the universe with the fool in reverse says this is foolishness, Pisces. It would be foolish of you to pass by this opportunity because of your lack of confidence, mm -hmm. because of your, your inability to recognize your awesomeness. Yes, and this Eight of Pentacles back here says that you have put in a lot of work. If this is money and business, you have worked your tail off to manifest this particular situation in your life. And if this is love and romance, you have been working on pulling out of whatever this Seven of Swords is right here. And the Eight of Pentacles says, keep working, compound your lessons from the past and be the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, and be the Queen of Wands in the upright and not the Queen of Wands in reverse. You don't see your worth, Pisces. You don't see what a prize you are, whether it's relationship or money. You're not seeing how amazing you truly are. And these cards are trying to get you, to give you a heads up about what's coming so you can flip this Queen of Wands in the upright and be the badass that you are. Yep. Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse talks about the stop avoiding responsibility. It's also a card about an increased focus on your goals. Okay, so stop avoiding the responsibility of coming to terms with this. See yourself for the badass that you truly are. You bring a lot to the table. You have a lot to offer. Do not let grief and sorrow and pain that has happened in your past dissuade you from fully and completely engaging in this opportunity. Okay, seven of pentacles. It's time to take a step back. Reflect and assess on what the heck this situation is, who you are, how you got here, the manifestation process, all the work that you've put into this whole thing. Take a step back and reflect and assess how you grow in things in your life and how you want things to be. High Priestess Pisces in the upright says that this is divine orchestration. This is, it's right beneath the star right there, right? This, and justice, this is for you, Pisces. This has been divinely orchestrated into your life because you have put in some kind of effort to be bigger and better and stronger. And now is the time. But old Pisces up here doesn't think they're ready. Old Pisces up here is ha hanging on to, to weakness and a lack of confidence because of some issue that has happened in the past. Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess to the Ten of Pentacles. If this is business, this this merging, this offer, this partnership is beyond successful, beyond successful. If this is love, this partnership is beyond successful. It is the foundation by which you will be able to create the whole rest of your life, 
either way. Four of Pentacles in the center of the reading talks about getting yourself under control. This whole reading revolves around this card. Get yourself under control. Why? Strength in reverse because your weakness. What is your weakness? What have you not overcome? Holding in your mind um, a failure, lack mentality, a lack of confidence, a lack of, of knowing your worth. And it's a, it's a weakness to the Two of Cups. You have to overcome this in order for this relationship to materialize in your life. You must know that you are big enough, strong enough, good enough to participate. What's the problem here? Well, old El Diablo right there, okay? The devil. The devil is your shadow self. Look, it's right underneath the high priestess in reverse, the seven of swords, the queen of wands in reverse, okay? What is Pisces' problem? Well, Pisces needs to get control of their flesh because whatever this was up here with the seven of swords and the queen of wands in reverse wounded your ego in such a way that you have not fully recovered yet. Okay, that is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold, abandoned, and feeling insecure. The Tower, because of something that you tried to build in the past that didn't have the foundation to bear the weight of what you want your life to be. And that's, that's the hang up here. That's why you got to let go of this because no matter what it is that you tried to build in the past, no matter what it is, business, foundation, money, a freaking real house, whatever it is that you tried to build in the past that did not work is because you were choosing things out of your flesh understanding of the way that life should be and not on your spiritual understanding of the way that life should be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were trying to run the show back in the day, Pisces, but now Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This Pisces has had some kind of awakening, some kind of spiritual growth, some kind of understanding that they are not the be all to end all. That their purpose on this planet is to follow the, 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 the lead of spirit to manifest your best and highest good in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. The Five of Pentacles is insecurity. The Tower is, is crawling through the rubble of something that didn't work for you in the past. The King of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is about a lack of success. It is. It's about a lack of success. It's also about if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And if you continue to be in this insecure, scared, lack of confidence place, whether it's about your money pursuit, whether it's about your pursuit of achievement and success, or whether it is about your ability to effectively engage in a relationship, you have to come to terms with this and you have to decide right here, right now, today that and agree that in the past you made bad decisions in your choice of relationships and you made some kind of bad decision in your choice of business, money or finance because of your flesh, because of your ego, your ego got in the way in the past, but now that you're grown, now that you are seeing things in a different way, now that you are following the advice of Dana and tapping into your soul's leading and your soul's understanding, there is a huge, gigantic transformation about to take place in your life. Strength. They need you to be strong and overcome the way that you've always done things, to overcome your ego, right? To understand that the past didn't work out because you didn't have what it takes to create what you were trying to create back then. 
And that's kind of the residual of that Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Well, I couldn't do it before. What makes me think I can do it now, right? Insecure, uh, possibly a lack mentality to the devil. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. And it's toxic to your life. Death, transformation, absolute 100% transformation. How is your life going to transform? Well, this whole pocket right here, right? This whole pocket right here. Come to terms with this. Own yourself. Own your worth. Own your ability to effectively engage in this opportunity. Turns the page, right? Death to all of that and birth to all of this. Temperance to the devil in reverse. This is all waiting. It's all right there hanging. Mm -hmm. It's all right there hanging. All the pieces are in place. All the dominoes are set up. The universe is simply waiting on Pisces to pull their self together with the temperance card and the devil in reverse and release your limiting beliefs. Your limiting beliefs are stopping this from entering your life, Pisces. Yep, your limiting beliefs about yourself, your ability, your skill set, the pain that you carry from the past is all literally clogging up the engine. Mm -hmm. none, none of this can trickle down into your life because the barrier, the, uh, the membrane that it needs to come through in order to take root in your life is barricaded by your lack of belief in yourself. Yep. Release your limiting beliefs. Detach from the toxicity that is your lack of, of self-worth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The hangman, Pisces, right? Take a step back. Reevaluate your life, the situation, and cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. What's that new perspective? Devil in reverse. Devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. Stop believing this up here and begin to believe in all of this right here. Because if you believe this, what we believe becomes our reality. What you think about comes about in this internal self-narrative of not worth it. Whether you're not worth it, it's not worth it, don't want to engage, it didn't work before, it's not going to work now. Uh, no. No. No, Pisces, no. That internal self-narrative creates your life. And the devil in reverse says, just like this one, in order for this transformation of your world, Pisces, you have to change your internal narrative, the tower in reverse, and use this tower over here, what didn't work in the past, you have to understand that it didn't work in the past because you were not prepared somehow to engage with it to its fullest capacity. Woundings, childhood woundings, inner child woundings, the, the person, place, or thing having unresolved, unhealed woundings. It was just a shit show. It was the blind leading the blind, Pisces. And you're stuck in this tower energy. This tower depleted your self-confidence. It depleted your ability to fully and completely engage. And the tower in reverse says a personal transformation. Stand up, brush yourself off from the ashes, and realize that this was not it. It was not it. King of Wands, but this is it. This is it. This is it. Your pursuit of achievement and success is about to pay off. Someone is about to step into your life and bring a whole lot of inspiration, aspiration, and motivation. King of Wands is here twice. 
Queen of Wands is here twice. This is fiery energy, fire energy, Pisces. There's about to be a fire <laughs> to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. But again, just like this one, right? If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And then strength again. It is time for you to recognize this and clear it out of your life so this opportunity relationship can take root. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. There it is. The crux of everything, right? Unreconciled past issues. Ace of Cups in reverse has caused your emotional growth to, 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 to stagnate. Mm-hmm. And this emotional growth and this wounding from the past, this unresolved issues from the past, it is the tower. It is the seven of swords. It is why Pisces is unhealed with the high priestess in reverse. Yep, 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 yep. Come to terms with your past. Queen of Cups. And make good with it. Got the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. We got the Emperor to the Empress so far. We have the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands as well right? Pisces needs to understand that the way that they tried to do things before was not from a spiritual understanding of your experience on this planet. It was from the boxed-in human understanding of the, of, of the experience of this lifetime. Pisces needs to understand that there is more to the story than what their limited human understanding has to offer. There is a soul aspect of your life that you must recognize and engage in. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse to the High Priestess in reverse to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Again, a repeat, right? Pisces, Pull it together. Let go of these past issues so you can grow emotionally, bringing it all together with the Queen of Cups, right? Knowing that you know that you know that there is a bigger way, that there is a better way than the box mentality of your human existence on this planet, okay? Read my book, Who Do You Think You Are? Okay, there's a link in my description box. It's short, super short, but it will really help you to understand that there is way, way, way more going on in this human existence, in this human lifetime than you think that there is. Okay, High Priestess in reverse, the unhealed Pisces, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Greed in the sense of well-being. What's that? Well, this is Pisces saying never again. Never again. Not ever, 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 ever going to engage ever again. And the Four of Pentacles says, pull it together. You have like three cards here of pull it together. Pull it together so you can begin to what? Step into your power as the Empress. Mm -hmm. Step into the power of the Empress. Beautiful. To the Magician in reverse. Because, what I say before, there it, it can't manifest. The Magician in reverse is an inability to manifest. It is. You're, this whole thing is ready, willing, and able to pop in your life if you will just push that first domino. If you will just push the first domino, everything else will fall into place. Okay? But Pisces is hung up on some kind of pain, unresolved pain that they have not come to terms with, whether it's love or business. Okay? Lack mentality when it comes to business, a lack of confidence and success that you can Engage in this opportunity and with love as well. A lack of confidence in your, in your ability to be successful in engaging in a love relationship. The Empress says, pull it together. Point your mind towards your intuition so you can come out on the other side as the Empress. Magician in reverse because you can't pull this into your life in your current state of being. You have to flip this magician in the upright in order for this to permeate into your life. 
five of swords in reverse and you have to let go of a white knuckle grip on some kind of mentality that is rooted in some kind of resentment. Yep. 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 Seven of pentacles in reverse. Because if you keep doing what you always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. To the queen of swords in the mind. Okay. In the mind. Pull it together in the mind. We have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. We have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Let me make sure I don't have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and look, there's... No, 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 no. Okay. What you're missing here in all of this is the Queen of Pentacles. This is peace in your sense of well-being. This is knowing your worth. Okay, your person has all four kings that equate to the emperor up there. You have three of the four queens for the empress. So what are you missing? Well, you're missing the queen of pentacles. You're missing that aspect of yourself that is okay with who you are, where you came from, and what life is about. Mm -hmm. She's grounded right? She's grounded and she's vigilant and she has a whole lot of self-worth. That's the piece of the puzzle that we are missing here for you to step into your power as the empress and allow this to rain down into your life. Queen of Swords, you've got to get your mind in the game, Pisces, because your mind is the seedbed of all creation for your life. And your mind is in a place of betrayal, deception, unhealed energy, um, worried in your mind that you won't ever be able to handle this situation. Eight of Swords, there you are, all tied up in your head in a mental imprisonment. Queen of Swords, when this offer comes in, Mm -hmm. When this offer comes in, you got to be clear, Pisces, clear to the Eight of Wands because it's going to change everything in your life, business or love, money or love. It's going to change everything in your life, the lovers, but we need you to vibe we need you to vibe on the level of the Queen of Pentacles so this King of Pentacles, by pure frequency, can be attracted. Mm -hmm. So you can find your way to them and they can find your way to you. Your frequency has to rise because this person is high vibing, successful frequency. And Pisces is the Queen of Wands in reverse right? The lovers, obviously, a significantly important relationship. The three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, reciprocation, all over the place. The ten of cups, happiness, emotional fulfillment. To the knight of swords, it's coming and you need to be prepared for it because if you're not prepared for it, Pisces, it can't fully manifest. If you're not prepared for it, you're going to be afraid of this whole situation and you're not going to be able to engage in it. Bottom of the deck, the sun. It is the path of your happiness, success, and vitality. See very clearly the princess of cups in reverse. Your inability to engage emotionally, the hermit in reverse, is because you are withdrawn and hidden, uh huh, that goes right back to the high priestess in reverse, right? You're withdrawn and you're not paying attention to what your soul is trying to tell you. Page of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles in this deck, right? This is the manifestation of something new, but there needs to be new ground. You can't keep sowing seeds on the old barren ground of what happened in the past. You have to clear this out so you can be prepped and ready for the seeds of prosperity somehow, some way to be sown into your life. The Prince of Pentacles, long, steady, and stable. This is methodical energy. What's this about? Okay, methodical energy, the planting of seeds. This is about working steady and stable, going through concept after concept after concept to get yourself in a position, Ten of Pentacles, 
that is going to build your entire future, Pisces. Your entire future. Yep. But the last card on the bottom of that deck was the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is illusion, delusion. What are you illusioned and delusioned about? Well, you're illusioned and delusioned about your inability to make this happen. I kid you not. I cannot make this up. The world. It's time to close this cycle down. Why? The stars. So you can step into your path and your purpose. This is an opportunity for renewal to the three of swords in reverse. Come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain of what it is that's keeping you from having the confidence to engage. And the nine of wands, resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight, coming to terms with all of this, Knight of Cups opens the door for you to be in a position to engage with some kind of significant, emotionally satisfying offer that is going to bring you an immense, immense amount of success, Pisces. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is awesome. There you go, Pisces. If you want your own cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. And if you are interested in how to grow spiritually, how to change the vibration of your life, how to change the thoughts in your mind to create a seedbed to create the kind of life that you truly, truly desire, read my book. Link is in the description box. Namaste.